So I think we all know that Final Cut Pro X is not the best and most professional software out there. This is why having some plugins can really come in handy to further help advance the software and bring in some features which you wouldn't have in the base software. That's why today I've compiled five free Final Cut Pro X plugins that I think are probably the best free stuff that you're gonna get out there. So yeah, keep watching to find out what those five plugins are and I'll see you guys right after the intro. So yeah, as mentioned, all these plugins are free. However, I personally think you guys are gonna be getting better quality plugins when you're paying a bit of money for them. Like, that, that's just how it is. You're not gonna get the same quality or level of professionality in free plugins. I think that some free plugins are still quite viable and they can really help out your project. So let's get right into it. Okay, so starting out with number five, we've got MLUT. So MLUT is pretty much a LUT loader which helps you to uh, put LUTs inside Final Cut Pro X. So I do know that Final Cut Pro X now actually has a LUT loader built into the software natively, however, I I think that MLUT is still a better option for lots of people because you can load different types of LUTs. You can upload .look files instead of just the standard .cube files, which is great. You can also change some exposure settings. I'd pretty much just prefer to use this instead of using the Final Cut Pro X one. Just a thing of preference, I think, but personally, I think this is probably the better option than going with Final Cut Pro X version. And it's free, so, you know, why not? You know, just, just go for it. Boom. Okay, so for number four on our list, we've got the Alex 4D Wide Angle Fix plugin. So I've actually made a full video on this plugin previously. It's right here on the iCard. It's one of these sides. I don't know which side it is, but it's on one of these sides. Pretty much in short, what this plugin does is get rid of some barrel distortion in your videos. It's that kind of weird warping which you get on GoPro cameras or really wide angle lenses. And it pretty much helps to repair and negate the effects of such a lens or camera. So yeah, this plugin is again, completely free. It's super, super easy to install. If you want to learn more about it or learn how to use it check out the video which I made on it it will also be linked in the description down below but yeah so like why not get it it's free so that brings us onto our third plugin which is an adjustment layer plugin so pretty much ever since I switched to Premiere Pro having an adjustment layer is just a crucial part of my editing process as it helps to speed everything up I can apply a lot to the adjustment layer and I can just drag it over all my clips and I don't have to grade every single shot individually it really helps out a lot and it saves me a ton of time so I would recommend you guys go for an adjustment layer plugin it's gonna really help to speed things up. You can also just put stabilization effects on it. It's just pretty much going to speed things up. Now adjustment layers are really really easy to make yourself in Apple Motion but if you don't want to go that extra mile and make it yourself just download one which I've linked in the description down below. It's pretty much just a title plugin which is just going to act as a how should I say an adjustment layer. That, that's that's as best as I can describe it. You can just dump all your effects onto that one layer and you're good to go. So yeah definitely recommend you guys install an adjustment layer into your Final Cut Pro X. Okay setting on to our number two spot we've got Letterbox plugin. Um, I think we've all seen in the last couple of years this kind of cinematic style emerging and I think at the forefront of that we've seen the cinematic bars at the top and bottom of every single clip. So now this is why I've decided to include letterboxes because I think that if you're making any sort of video having letterboxes is pretty crucial nowadays to make it look just a little bit extra cinematic epic. And now I have one little problem with this plugin and that is that it actually doesn't change the resolution of the clip but rather just applies a crop to the clip if you guys know what I'm saying. So pretty much if you're displaying it on a 20 one by nine monitor. It's not actually going to display in 21 by nine. This is going to be a crop of the of the video. It's yeah. It's a bit hard to explain, but if you're doing a vlog that is just shot in 1920 by 1080, this is actually quite useful because you can just make it look like you've got a cinematic portion of that video instead of having the whole video in that 21 by nine format. It's all of a bit of a mumbo jumble to explain, but just recommend you guys install this. You know why not? It's free, so uh, go for it. Okay, this video went so fast, but went into our last plugin already, which is Color Finale. Now I do know that Color Finale is not actually a free plugin in its full version. You can get a free trial version though, I think it's for about a week, and you can try out the whole software for one week in your Final Cut Pro X. But yeah, I have decided to include this because I think it's probably the best option for color grading which you can natively get inside Final Cut Pro X. So if you're just solely editing on Final Cut, you're not editing on DaVinci, you're not editing on Premiere, if you're just set on editing just in Final Cut Pro X, this is the best option which you can possibly get for color grading. Because I mean, Final Cut Pro 10 definitely did get a big upgrade upgrade in its color grading software a couple years ago. However, Color Finale still pretty much gets the crown because you can uh, change all the hue and just settings which you don't actually get inside the Final Cut Pro X built-in uh, color grading software. So yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it or learn something, let me know in the comments down below and like the video. Share it or dislike it if you didn't like it. I don't actually mind. But yeah, subscribe if you want to see more weekly content like this. Um, it really helps to support me and tell me that you guys are actually enjoying this type of content. So yeah, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.